In this edition of Take 5, Ed Hernandez talks about five issues in his run for Lieutenant Governor. I think if we are going to govern, we have to govern very much down the middle so that we govern for the people of this country. There's just been so much division that we have that I've never seen before, whether it's the attack on immigrants, whether it's the attack on women's rights, whether it's, you know, the borders and sending, building up the wall. Yes, it's a very blue progressive state, but I think we're doing everything right here in California. Yes, I support the Abolish ICE movement. I think it's very, very heavy-handed on communities of color, particularly Latino communities, which I'm opposed to. I obviously, I supported SB 54, which is a sanctuary state law. And yes, the state of California, we are one of 50 states, and we need to make sure we govern the way we feel it's appropriate. And we feel there's an attack on people who come to this country, and especially immigrants. And so I think there's a disconnect from the federal government to what we're doing here in the state of California. The gas tax should remain for a lot of reasons. Safety, number one. We have a crumbling infrastructure with our roads. And keep in mind that if we don't have safe roads, people are gonna get in accidents, we're gonna have problems. We just don't have the money to pay for it. You know, our firefighters, our police officers are all in support of it, but more importantly, we have to make sure that we have safe roads for everybody to drive here in the great state of California. We are a victim of our own success. We are busting at the seams. The population continues to grow. Again, going back to infrastructure, the roads are crumbling. Uh, we just don't have enough units. We still have to do everything we can to make it easier for uh, developers to build homes, but more importantly, to build affordable homes. The other thing that we may want to look at also is how do we build homes along transit corridors? to get people off the freeways, reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. We really have to look at innovative ways, whether it's mixed use and how we're gonna be building our homes. Let's talk about what everybody has a right to do is freedom of speech. I don't disagree that they, don't, they shouldn't do that. However, I have a real concern when anyone personally attacks anybody, even they totally disagree with them. If you look at Barbara Bush and what she stood for and First Lady and former First Lady, and also what's more important is, you know, how the family took it. So I think just from a pure human perspective, um, I think it's inappropriate to attack anybody um, just at a human level.